get started. Welcome to the next episode of Bliss TV this morning, 10 a.m. live with your bar bootcamp class. My name is Marianne, and I'm glad to have you guys join me this morning. Um, I think I've mentioned at the beginning of class, the only thing that you really need is some sort of surface that mimics the bar. So if you have a bar in your house, congratulations. We're all going to meet there after quarantine. Otherwise, a banister, um, a chair, maybe a countertop that allows you to have a little bit of light balance, a little bit of light contact to find alignment and core engagements. Um, everything else is optional. I do have the ball with me this morning. I also have band and I also have a sense of weight, both a four and a eight pound. Um, additionally, I'm going to go through really quickly your love notes from this morning. So in the boot camp portion, we have weighted speed skaters. So I showed this in our sculpt class. Take your heaviest weight, land it on the mat. Press firmly, seek low, extend out. Bring it in and feel the crunch on the way in. Then we'll switch, we'll do it on the opposite side. That is your weighted speed skaters. You're all familiar with donkey kicks, but I'll show you again in case you forget. So donkey kicks, plant your hands, kick your feet up. Um, then Renegade Rows. Renegade Rows you can take either in a tabletop position or you can take in a push-up position. Again, this is with weights or no weights at all. So if you were taking this from tabletop position, I would be alternating right and left. Right and left. Um, wall sits with the weight out. So I will use my bar here this morning. Take a seat. It will be in a Hip distance apart with your feet, seated a little bit lower, weight is out. We're just simply going to drive the car. And we drive the car. And we drive the car. Okay, then up next, dead. Your choice, you get to choose which way you do that. Um, baseball, squeeze. Knee taps. Squeeze the ball between your inner thighs, press into your hands, roll over your toes, hover your knees. So you're going to squeeze while tapping. Right? So we're double. We're double dips in here. Um, up next is wall sits, bicep curls. So this time you're going to be in a narrow wall sit. So take a seat, come all the way up on your tippy toes. Tuck. And then curl. Good. Then we have uh, the last two, knee drives. So back and drive. Reset. And then we'll switch sides. That's your boot camp section. It'll be 35 seconds per each station. Small break in between to get to the next station and we'll start. That'll be in between warm up, some bar, boot camp, a little bit more workout, then we'll stretch it out. This class should be about an hour today. When you're ready, let's get started in the seated position. So for me, my hips are a little tight in the morning. A block helps. I'm going to take hero's pose. You get to choose, maybe you find some costly, easy pose, maybe that's best for you. Whatever shape your body is asking for this morning, just allow it. Take the time to find your foundation. I can only speak from my experience, but I can tell you, I haven't felt grounded in about a month. Rather than responding, I have been reacting to the changes and able to predict or rely on what's coming next, which has left me with a feeling of unease and a little anxiety. So I invite you first to come as you are, knowing that at Bliss, we love you exactly as you are. And then I encourage you to lay your troubles down on your mat this morning, and just for this next hour, think of only you and how you can serve your heart. Take care of your needs. Release and let go of whatever you might be carrying in your body. One 
once you have grown a little roots. Begin to settle into your body and just notice it as it is. Send some love to your belly. Send some love to your heart. Check in. How are you doing this morning? As you observe energy within your body, begin to connect to your breath. And just allow your breath to serve as a gauge to how you're feeling today. The beautiful gift of yoga is it gives you insights into who you are in this present moment, not who you thought you were yesterday or two weeks ago or four weeks ago, or who you would like to predict that you are in four weeks, but rather your present self. say good morning to him or her. Welcome this beautiful person that you are in this moment. Staying connected to breath. Find three intentional breaths as you breathe in through your nose. And exhale, open mouth. Continue breathing in this way, noticing the oceanic quality of your breath, this ujjayi breath, allowing the whisper muscles to slightly constrict in the small in the back of your throat. Know that child's pose is accessible to you at any time in class this morning. Drinking water when you need to, taking a break when you need to, and returning back, I'll be here when you're ready. Same with breath, allow your eyes to open if they were closed. Allow your palms to come palm down on the tops of your thighs. When our palms are down, it gives us that deeper connection. We are able to ground in the present moment. We're going to begin class with a couple of bhati breath, our shiny skull breath. Again, it will be in and out through our nose, so our lips will seal. It'll be snapping our bellies to where our bellies are almost like a pump. So we're going to begin to warm ourselves up from the inside out. So lift your arms out wide. About 60 degrees, bend your fingers. Bring your thumbs out wide, almost like an antenna. Allow your shoulders to come away from your ears. Exhale all the air out of your mouth through, or out your mouth. Seal your lips. Breathe in through your nose. And begin. Staying with your breath, feeling that snapping of your belly. Quick inhales, quick exhales, rapid, beginning to warm yourself up. Thirty seconds remain. Stay with your breath. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Collect, connect your thumbs over your head. Breathe in. Open your mouth. Arms by your side. Find yourself in a tabletop position, please, if you have a block underneath your side of the side. Stack your joints, bring your wrists underneath your shoulders. Bring your knees underneath your hips. Stretch the crown of your head towards the front. Cat, cow, inhale, look up. Tail up, allow your belly to drop. On an exhale, press the mat away. Tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis round deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Staying with your cat cow or adding any extra movements that your body needs, connecting that movement to your breath. So maybe a little bit slower, maybe picking things up a little bit faster, or staying static is what your body needs. Return back to a neutral spine. Say good morning to your core, sending some love. Then Udiyana Bandha, belly button up and in, slight tuck of your pelvis, protecting your core. Think about sending your navel back towards your spine. Extend your right leg long, point through your toes, lift. Extend your left arm forward, thumb is at the top on an inhale, grow long. On an exhale, elbow the knee, crunch it in. Inhale. Exhale, open. Close, excuse me. Inhale. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale. On this exhale, open up left arm out to the side. Right legs out, flex your toes towards your nose, engage your core. So your inner thighs squeeze a little bit more. Inhale, reach. On an exhale, baby bow, bend your back foot. Kick into it. Allow your kick to begin to open up your left shoulder. Inhale, reach and stretch long. As you exhale, plant your left hand, plant your right knee. Take any movements that you need in between. We'll take the opposite side, extend your right Long thumbs at the top, point your left toes back behind you. Inhale, core engage. Exhale, elbow the knee. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, round in. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, contract. Inhale, grow long. On an exhale, open up right arm out. Left leg out, flex your toes towards your nose. Core up and in, squeeze and hold. Inhale, reach and stretch. On an exhale, plant, plant. Go ahead and sink your hips back towards your heels. Spring child's pose. Three rounds of breath. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Begin to roll your forehead from side to side. Very slowly walk your hands back towards your body. Find yourself in hero's pose. We're going to begin our warm-ups with our, on our knees, our hip lifts. It's everyone's favorite, but I can hear you guys collectively moaning at home. Okay, so, come on to your knees. Bring your knees about hip distance apart. Tuck your pelvis. Belly button up and in. Begin to press your hips forward. Lean your shoulders back. Reach and stretch your arms out. Begin to come back, hold here, 10 second warm up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna begin to move to the count of two. Three, two, one. It's up, two, lower back, two, up, two, and back, two, eight, two, lower, two, seven, Two, lower, two, six, two, lower, two, five, two, lower, two, that's four, two, lower, two, three more, two, lower, two, 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 lower, two, one, two, stay low. Hold static, press your hips forward, lift your heart. Your quad should be saying something to you right now. Holding another five, four, three, two, freeze, bend, and press. Ten, press. Nine, press. Eight, press. Seven, press. Six, press. Five, press. Four, press, three, press, two, press, one, press, hold, readjust. We're gonna go back to that two count finish for 10. So press back, two, and forward, two, nine, 
two, forward, two, eight, two, forward, two, legs are shaking for two, and forward, two, six more, two, up for two, that's five, two, up, two, that's four, two, up, two, and three, two, up, two, and two, two, up, two, one, two, up, two, come back, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Ow! anybody else's quads on fire, this girl right here, quads on fire, okay, my friends, it's plank time, grab a quick drink of water if you need to, you can always lower to your knees and still work your upper body, we're going to tap wrists, then tap elbows, then tap shoulders, then we're going to work on lowering knees, one at a time, then lowering both. You got this? I got this. We got this together. So find yourself in your plank position. Ooh wee. My quads are barking. Press into your toes. Belly up and in. We'll start on the left side. It's tap and right. Left. Eight. Left. And seven. Left. Six. Left. And five. Left. Four. Left. And three. That's left. Two, left, and one. Left elbow, right, left, and right. That's left, seven, left, six, left, five, left, and four, left, three, left, two, left, one, left shoulder, now right shoulder, left, eight, left, and seven, left, Six, left, and five. Left, four, left, and three. That's left, two, left, one, high, plank, lower right knee. And left, it's right, left for eight, left for seven. Left, that's six, left, and five. Left, that's four, left, and three. Left, Two, left, one, come back to static, bend both knees, press up, tap knees, for eight, that's tap, and seven, tap, six, tap, five, tap, four, tap, three, tap, two, tap, one, tap, hold double time, press, tap, and tap, for eight, and seven. That's six and five, four, three, two, one. Hold static, shift forward. We're going to walk it out, walking plank. It's lower to forearm, press up. That's eight and press. That's seven and press. Six more. You with me? Five more. That's four and three. That's two. Finish strong, one more, press up, hold. Hold your plank. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more down to your knees. Nice job, 15 second break. Did I mention we're gonna be doing core in between a lot of our sections today? I didn't? Well, now you know. I think Angela's with us. She always likes core, so we're going to do some core. Before we get into our bar section. Woo. All right, this is called Pilates 100, but we're going to do it for 60 seconds. I'm going to start. Woo. Come into your rope pose. Think about making a C shape with your belly. Shoulder blades down and back. Lift your heart. Bring your hands inside you. You will look like this. Okay, you ready? 60 seconds starts now.
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna begin section at the bar. Again, bands are always optional in your choice. If you have a band, I would bring it above my knees to my thighs. Whew. We're gonna work with our heels and our toes out. Making that diamond shape, connect your heels together. Tuck underneath your pelvis, press into your toes. So we're gonna work to a count of two. Then we're gonna pulse. We're gonna lower down an inch. Work to a count of two. Pulse, lower down again. Work to a count of two. Pulse, press up. Go through that top one again, pulse, and then we'll be done. Okay, so, knife into your pinky fingers. Little to no way, remember, bar is about muscle, I'm sorry, body-mind connection. So engaging your muscles to where it's almost shaky, even just standing static. So core up and in, navel to spine. Little to no weight. Come all the way up on your tippy toes. Crook your heels together, because there's no place like home. Tuck your pelvis, bring your knees out wide, create that diamond shape, bend. Come a little bit lower, good. So first we're gonna press up, and bend. That's 10, and then that's nine. Eight, and seven. Six, and five. Four, and three. Two, and one. Bend low. Little pulses out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it out. Hold. Static. Bend. Come a little bit lower. It's press. Now bend. Remember, we're going lower this time. And bend. Press. And bend. That's 7. Bend. And 6. Bend. 5. And bend. That's 4. Your knees out wide, you press as you bend down. Click your heels together. Four more. It's bend and press. Three. Press. Two. Press. One. Come back to that low position. Little pulse out. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Press up. Woo! We're going to go to our lowest point now. Come as low as you can. Tuck your pelvis knees out. It's press and bend. Press and bend. Eight more. And then, woo! And then six more. And then five more. And then four more. And then three. Then two. Then one. Stay low. Little pulse and pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, press up. <sighs> Click your heels together, knees out wide. Pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, press. <sighs> Lower down. Ooh wee. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, maybe. How you feeling? I'm not gonna lie. That was some hard stuff, but knowing that you guys were beside me, sweating, dying together, made me feel a little bit better. All right. Now we are going to go into, oh, take a seat. We have core again, because why? Because we can. So we're gonna come onto our back, we're gonna do the knee pulls. So our chest is going to be lifting towards our knee, okay? 60 seconds, starting that right side. Belly up and in, bring it in, and switch. 60 seconds, go at your pace. Reach and point long through your toes. Engage your hip flexors. Really pull and pull. Pull and pull. 45 seconds left with this one. You still breathing with me? Maybe this 
weights that you're familiar with this step. Right side, left side, so two separate sides. First, we're going to bend, keep bending that right. Left leg is going to lift out, we're going to lift. And then we'll hold up top. Then we'll lower our toes, keep that right leg bent. Shift our left toes around. Curtsy. Shift back. Finish with pulse. Right side. Then we switch to left. 12 reps for each set. Good. All right. Hands. Go ahead and lean into a deep bend in that right leg. Ooh. There you have something to say. All right, deep bend. Extend your left out point long, squeeze. It's lift and tap. 11, tap and 10. That's nine and eight. Seven, woo, six, five, and four. Belly up and in, really point long. All the muscles are engaged. Two more, one more. Lift, little pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep that bend, lower your foot. Slowly bring it around. Curtsy and back. 11 more here. How are you guys feeling? Stay with me. 10 more. 9. And 8. Last 7. Lifted. 
Squeeze that space between your shoulder blades. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, freeze. Shoulders down and back. Over and in. We're going to go halfway and lift. 11, lift, and 10. That's 9. Woo! 8. That's 7. 6. And 5. I lifted with my son yesterday. I'm a little bit sore. Two more. Hold your little pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, flip it up. Overhead press single. 10 and 9. Eight more. That's seven. You're doing good. Six and five. Four. Three more. Three more. That's two. One more. Left side. Press and bend. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Start to burn. Eight and seven. Six, five, four, we're going to go into a double overhead, two, one, bend, press both, and bend for 12, bend, 11, bend, 10, bend, and 9, bend, 8, bend, and 7, the 6, Five, you can do this. Four, it's burning pretty good. Three, two, one, double time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Ah, nice job, you guys. 20 second break. We're going to start a boot camp. Remember, first station is the weighted speed skaters. We'll start on the right side. So your hand will be on the right, your right hand will be on your weight. We'll be connecting left. Okay, and then we'll switch to the left side. It's hard for me to talk when I'm worn out. So if I'm jumbling my words, I love you. Thank you for your grace. I think you understand what I'm saying. All right, grab your weight. Press into your weight. Not squeezing, but press into your weight, and your balance, engage your core. Let's go, 35 seconds. Crunch it in. Keep your eyes steady. One spot for your drishti helps your balance. Bring your belly up and in. Really squeeze so the contraction is your elbow, past knee, knee up towards chin. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. We don't need to take a break. Rest. Let's go. 35 seconds. Guys, you're doing great. Stay with me. Again, you can always take a break with child's pose or grab water. But I challenge you to choose your heart this morning. 10 seconds remaining. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Next up, oh, donkey kicks. All right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can always do one leg, little hops, if that's better for you. You can do an inversion if you'd like to instead. Try to kick your glutes with your heels. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Renegade rows. Come on down to tabletop. Come on down to push-up position. Row up, alternate. 35 seconds starts now. I'm just going to fix my hair real quick. I'll be with you in a second. Row up, you can choose to do 15 seconds right side, 15 seconds left side, or switch. Again, you can always take this 
from tabletop or from push up position. 10 seconds for me, and I'm rolling into tabletop. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set your weights down. Wall sits, weight out. So regular wall sit. <sighs> Feet about hip distance apart. Try to sink it low to 90 degrees. Now time to drive the car. Drive the car. Drive the car. Really take some corners. Press your shoulders back. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press up. Deads. You get to choose what style of dead you would like. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Get your dead. Let's go. Keep your heart lifted. Keep your eyes straight ahead. Imagine you're squeezing something on the wall behind you at the top. So squeeze your glutes. Fifteen seconds remain. Extend your right leg behind you. 
Shine your right hip flexor down towards the mat. Belly up and in. Tap and lift. Point long through your back foot. Engage every muscle. That's nine. And tap. Eight. Tap. And seven. Tap. Six. Tap. Five. Tap. Four. Tap. And three. Tap. Two. Tap. One. Tap. Lift up. Little pulse. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. She was squats. It's tuck and lift for ten and lift. Nine, eight, woo, seven, six more, five, and four. Dig deep. Three and two. One, lengthen long, tap down, and lift. Nine, lift. Eight, lift. Seven, and six. Five more, and four. That's three, and two, and one. Hold it long, point, squeeze, breathe in. Breathe out, fold, go ahead and walk it out. We'll go right into the left side. Lift your hips. Shift your left hip flexor down towards the mat. Point long. Core in. Tap and lift. Ten. Lift and nine. Lift. Squeeze every muscle through your toes. Imagine you're going to touch the wall behind you. Five more. And lift. That's four. And three. Two. One, lift high, little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze it long, she was squats. Tuck and lift for ten, nine, eight, and seven, six. Yes, those are my cracking joints. As I've mentioned before, I'm the tin woman. Three more, Shiva. Two, one, squat, lift, and tap, finish strong. Nine, tap, and eight, tap, seven, six more, that's five, and four, three, two, one. Little press, little press. 
press. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, heels up. Hover and press. It's 15, press. And 14, press. 13, press. And 12, 11, press. And 10, nine more. That's eight, and press. Seven, hover your heels. Six more, Let's hover, and five. Hover, and four. Hover, and three. Hover, two. Hover, lift, little pulse. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hover, lower down, nice job, come on down to your mat, side crunches, left side, again find that place where it doesn't hurt your hip and you have to adjust a little bit, lift it up this time right to left, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, that's 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, that's 19 and 18, 17, you got this, 16, stay with me, 15 and 14, it's 13, and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! All right, we're nearly done. Come on to your back. We're going to do glute bridges. Then we're going to finish with Pilates 100 one more time. Then we're going to stretch. So, weight, you get to decide. Band, if you would like. It's just your practice, baby. Do it your way. All right. I'm going to take the first 15 for chest press. You get to choose. Weights. Sorry, lift your hips up off the mat. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze your glutes. Belly button down. Press your weights and hover. 15. That's 14. 13. And 12. 11. 10. 9. And 8. 7. 6 more. That's 5. And 4. 3. One, keep your hips lifted, set your weights down, you can bring weights to your hips. Come on, we have on your tippy toes, squeeze and tuck, just hover and lift. 15, lift, and 14, squeeze at the top. 13, lift, and 12, 11, and 10. Nine, press into your toes, and eight, lift it up. Seven more, that's six. Five and four, three and two, one, lift at the top, little pulse at the top, press your hips up and press for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, it's ugly but it's effective, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay up, stay on your left toe, bring your right heel to the ceiling, it's hover. And press for 10. Press. 9. Press. And 8. Press through your heel. 7. Press. And 6. Press. 5. Press. And 4. Press. 3. Press. And 2. Press. 1. Press. Hold. Squeeze. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. Lower right. Press into your right toes. Lift left. Press three heels, press and hover. Nine and eight, woo! Seven, six more. That's five, four, three, two. Hold at the top, 
little pulse. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower to your toes. Keep your hips lifted. Hover. Press up. Last 15. Hover and press. 13. Press and 12. Press. 11. Press. 10 more. We got this. Stay strong. It's nine. Press. That's eight. Dig deep. Seven. And six. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. One. Press. Hold. Squeeze. Lower down. Ah, 15 second break. Finish strong. Pilates 100 for 60 seconds. Remember, we are exponentially stronger together. I can do this because you can do this. You can do this because she can do this. We can do this together. So gather your troop, grab, gather your tribe. Let's finish strong. Come all the way up, French rope. Make a C shape, navel to spine, shoulder blades down back. Hover, let's go. of 
noticing and observing without judgment or expectation. Coming back to your beautiful present self. I hope you feel a little bit more grounded. Change, switch to the right. I hope you feel a little bit more connected. And I hope you're able to breathe a little bit easier. I want to remind you to give your loved ones a little bit more grace, and that includes you because you are a loved one, a little bit more grace right now. We are all in some sort of place of trauma. We all have heavy burdens upon our shoulders. We are all struggling and facing something new. So love one another a little bit harder. Forgive one another a little bit more. I'm going to stop talking. Very slowly come back towards center, bend both of your knees and just circle them out. Then bend your knees, reach around, give your knees a hug, squeeze them into your chest. Press the length of your spine down into the mat. Find a breath. And as you breathe out, squeeze your knees down into your chest. Feel that compression like a massage for your internal organs. Breathe in. Breathe out and squeeze. Feel that compression. On your next breath, bring forehead to meet your knee. Before you do anything, give yourself some love right here. Give yourself a huge hug. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, expand and send your love into this world. Everyone needs a little bit more love right now. You guys know me. You know I cry. <laughs> Come back home to yourself. Once again, allow your breath to serve as a gauge for how your body's feeling, your beautiful present self. If you ever feel lost, or with anxiety, just begin with one breath. And breathe in, and breathe out. And follow that breath, come home to yourself, and allow yourself to be at rest with your breath. Your feet flop out to the side, your calves soften, and your quads and hamstrings begin to surrender down, your sits bones settle in. All corners of your mat reach up to support you and welcome you home. Your belly is soft, knowing you are always safe here. Shoulders soften down into the mat. Your beautiful, sweet heart expands into the space that you have created for it today. Allow the muscles of your face to soften. Your jaw relaxes. Set down the weight you've been carrying. As always, it is my sweetest joy to serve as your teacher. I will never take for granted the gift of your trust. My brightest light, my truest love, and my simple respect to each of you. I love you. We can't wait to see you again. Namaste, my friends. <laughs>